Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Good morning you guys, welcome back to another vlog My name is Grace, if you're new here I think I'm a little out of focus I can't see Um, hi, it's Thursday Happy Thursday Just doing makeup and stuff I'm going to a closing today in Midtown and then I'm actually working from home the rest of the day, which is a lovely treat for a Thursday. But I got some clothes on Amazon. I actually ordered a whole bunch of clothes recently. I got this Amazon stuff. I'm getting some clothes from Nasty Gallon soon. And then I ordered a whole bunch of pants from J. Crew. So we should have that in soon so I can show you because I've just been hating my wardrobe, specifically my summer clothes wardrobe for work. And now that I, you know, obviously work every single day, I don't want to wear the same outfits every week. And I literally cycle between my show po dress, my thread up dress, and those shorter dresses, and like my J. Crew leopard pants. I just haven't been wanting to wear tight wool or polyester slacks because I sweat my ass off. So. I got a whole bunch of new stuff. So as it comes in, I'll show you. I hope the Nasty Gal stuff comes today so I can show you that because this Amazon stuff, it's only a few things, but. The first thing I got was this skirt, which I thought was really cute. It's like an emerald green with white polka dots, a nice stretchy waist, and it's midi length. It hits like right uh, below the knee, or like mid calf, I would say. It's probably like $20 or so. I got a size medium. The waist is really stretchy. Then I got this shirt which I really like and I hope fits because this is one of those textures that has no give to it. So if it's like too tight on your chest, you're just gonna be really uncomfortable. So hopefully this fits, but it's leopard. It's sort of a peplum style because it does have a seam right here or a stitch. I don't really know what that's called and it flares out a little bit, but it's a brown orangey color. I guess this is considered leopard print. I really like this shirt to wear with like black slacks or something. And then I got one of these dresses, which I have a long sleeve version of, but it's basically a, just a simple black bodycon dress, but it's ruched all down the sides. So if you're really bloated, it still looks good because it sort of like ruffles up and you have some texture on your midsection as opposed to like, you know, Forever 21 bodycon dresses from like 2008 that were just skin tight. And if you had any sort of bump or bloat or something. It was just extremely glaringly obvious. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But I find these ones to be much more flattering because it just hides everything. And you can wear regular underwear with it, which is even better because it hides any lines on your butt too. So I'll link these three items below. I'm very obsessed with them. And All right, I guys, it's now, what day is it? Tuesday. 
I'm ending this vlog, but I got my J. Crew order in, so I wanted to show you because I figured I showed you the other stuff, so I would add this in here. So I'll just go through it quick. It's all pants. I definitely thought I bought a shirt, but I guess I didn't. So I got a few pairs of these Jamie pants because they're so comfortable. They're great for winter and summer because the length, it's like you can still wear flat shoes with it. Though I will say they're not like the most flattering pant. I got these in a size eight because I just, I don't think I'm a size six anymore, but they're all a little too loose in an unflattering way. But if you wear heels with them, they look better. So I would recommend wearing heels with these, honestly. The flat is just not the move, but they're so comfortable. And if you have to wear slacks or, you know, not jeans to work, try these out because they're comfortable. They're loose. I mean, again, they're not the most flattering, but they're easy to wash and take care of. You don't have to like dry clean them. So I got them in black. I got them in this snakeskin print, which I love for the summer. These are on clearance, so hopefully they still have them. I really like the printed ones better. And then I got them in this floral, which is a little bit louder than I expected. But this would look cute with nude heels, maybe like a white shirt, something like that. But what I like about the Jamie pants, and you can see best on these, is that they have like an elastic back. So if you get bloated during the day or PMSing or something, they're not going to be uncomfortable. And that's the problem I have with slacks. And then I got two pairs of just regular slacks. From J. Crew. I really like the Ruby pant. They are, they're not high-waisted, but they're not low-waisted. I'd say they're like mid-rise and they are ankle length which I always think ankle length slacks are so flattering with a pair of heels they really make your legs look longer so try them out got them in navy blue the ruby pants have stretch to them they're not completely um you know solid and then I got them in black because black slacks obviously you just need a million pairs and then I got a pair of shoes which actually don't fit. I guess J. Crew shoes run a little small, but they were these little sandals, which they're so cute. You know, they have a block heel. You don't have to worry about like flip flopping around, but they're just a smidge too small. And I'm a nine and a half like everywhere. So I guess J. Crew shoes may run a little on the smaller side. And the last thing I got was also from Amazon were these Valentino knockoff sort of flip-flops. I really like these. I know people say that the studs are like chuggy now. First of all, I hate that word. And second of all, I don't care because they're so cute, I think. The only problem, and I don't have these with my other ones that I got last year, is that they're really slippery when your feet sweat. So I almost fell out of these shoes like four times yesterday. And my old ones aren't like that. So I don't know if it's like the new design or whatever, but caution if you wear them. And I think today it's supposed to be pretty warm. I'm going to Midtown, have to do some walking. I'm gonna wear the dress because with this, I'd wanna wear like a white shirt and I just don't have a white shirt to wear. That's short sleeves. I have a tank top, but I don't wanna wear a tank top. 8.40, I'll probably leave around 9.30 just to make, maybe a little before 9.30 to make sure I have time to get there, but I have to print something out for the closing. So I had to text my coworker to give me the login for this go to my PC, which is how we get remote access because for some reason with this new computer, it deleted all my passwords, even though I like imported everything and I have no clue what the password is to anything. So I'm gonna go change and get ready and see how long it's gonna take me to get to the parking garage and then hopefully log in and print this thing. This is my outfit of the day. It took me a million tries for the shoes, which I'm still not settled on. But just wearing the black dress, I mean, obviously, I got a contact lens stuck to my mirror and it won't come off, so just like disregard that. But anyways, this is the dress. Cute, comfy, I can't with the contact lens. And then I'm just wearing this Express blazer. And then to walk, I'm just gonna wear these new Target sandals that I got. And I'm using my Gucci Soho Disco, but I am bringing just like nude heels to wear in the actual closing, but I have to walk a few blocks from where I'm parking. So I didn't feel like strutting the streets in those heels because I just don't have it like I used to. 
literally a year off of everything. I've been working for a while, but honestly, like walking through the city, I used to go to the city like every other week and go out or I worked like in Manhattan, Midtown. I'm used to like walking around in my heels, you know, whatever. My feet would hurt at the end of the day. I don't really care. But now, if something isn't extraordinarily comfortable, I do not want to wear it. Like I downright refuse. And that's annoying. <laughs> Just gonna find some snacks to bring along. We ordered groceries yesterday and somehow, I don't want any of this. But I got yogurts and stuff that I don't really like. Sky is falling down. Sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. I'm home and I legit never want to leave my house again. It took me forever to get home from the city, but I got a million packages for some reason. I don't know what this lighting is, but we're just gonna have to deal with it for now because I need to know what I ordered. So I got my probiotics. Oh, my dad's Father's Day present. He wanted golf shirts. That's really exciting. And I think this is cat litter. I think. But this wouldn't really make sense. No. Oh, why would that be cat litter? Duh. We did get Peach a self-cleaning litter box. which is outside, but the box is huge and I don't feel like carrying it. But I ordered this litter mat on Amazon so that I wouldn't have to deal with the cat litter everywhere. I'm just so happy to be home right now. You have no clue. Oh my God. The closing was a little bit longer than I expected. Honestly, like co-op closings are usually really short, like an hour, but this is like two and a half hours. So by the time I got out, it was like two o'clock or so. I went to Pret, Pret uh, Manager, I don't know. I can't pronounce it and I won't care to try. And got this delicious pesto sandwich and ate it in the car on my way back. And the car ride was again like two hours and I wanted to die. So that was that. <laughs> and then I got home and I answered all my emails but I have to go back on the rest of the day. But I just wanna take a nap. Like I've been go, go, go since the second I woke up. And I need to take a nap. <sighs> outside to get some sunlight because I literally never see the sun but look at that we usually have the blinds closed during the day because it gets so hot but I have them open right now clearly and she's loving it <laughs> she's like dead asleep I want to tap on the window, but I don't wake her up. Our pool opens up 
next weekend, I think. But it'll be so perfect because I'm home early today. I think it closes around 7 during the week, so I'm not going to be able to go in during the week, which is unfortunate, but it would be lovely if it was open today because it's so nice out. We just got our pool passes in the mail the other day. We're going to give Ellie some cilantro. This is apparently a good treat for bunnies, so let's go give her some. Look, there's more. It's almost six o'clock. I'm tuckered out. I, oh, I hate the smell of cilantro. You know, people say you, you either like it or you think it tastes like soap. I think it tastes like soap, personally. But I think I'm gonna go on a walk tonight. I did that the other night. It was nice. But I really don't want to make dinner, so I'll probably just wait for Jesse to get home and have him do it. to do my version of gardening I'm definitely not a gardener I don't have a green thumb but I noticed it was looking a little crisp out there because it hasn't rained in a few days so I watered the plants and then I pulled out some weeds and that was the extent of my gardening I truly don't like to garden I love the way gardens look but I don't like to do it <sighs> there's so many hours in the day when you're not at work like crazy who would have thought some lemon water and sat outside just being so healthy we have a critter here who would like to say hello Jesse got home from work pretty late today. They've been really busy since it's been kind of hot this week. He owns a heating and air conditioning company if you're new here, so yeah. He got home late, he's really tired. I'm really tired. I'm so glad tomorrow's Friday. Thank God. I think he's in the shower right now, so my shower will have to be delayed a little bit. But my makeup still kind of looks pretty good considering I've had it on for 12 hours. I'm just going to sit here until he's done with the shower. And then I'm going to go take one and go to bed. Mm. But first I'm going to try to drink a lot of this water because I did have ramen for dinner. Because I was going to make grilled chicken, but we didn't have anything to marinate it in. And then I just kind of gave up, you know? So I had ramen. Not the healthiest choice, but whatever. I'm so tired, I have to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm gonna end it here. I will link all these clothing items down below so you can go check them out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you again in the next one.